happy Saturday. It's the weekend after my trip to London and I'm going out to see Joan because it's been a while since we caught up. So just getting a one-on-one -on -one date session today. Let's go. white one all right y'all this is a speakeasy how to enter <laughs> oh shit we had to put our number down so we're gonna just come here because this is a place she saved it's called wine bar oh kimo okay kimo <laughs> <laughs> that was so cute. Wait, it's not your fault though. There was no sign saying pull or push. <gasps> this is my vibe. Y'all. Mama. <laughs> Last, last vlog I tried to make protein banana bread and failed miserably and I said I was gonna try again to get it right so here we go and the last time after making the banana bread I broke the clear bowl this is the biggest bowl I have right now hopefully this is big enough By the way, thank you for all the advice you gave me in the last last video. It looks a lot less watery than the last time. Someone else said it might be good to put aluminum foil on top to prevent it from burning. I trust you guys. If this fails, it's your fault. Just kidding. Or am I? Right. In London, there were so many places I wanted to go to. I heard that shortage is really nice, but because my time there was so limited, I couldn't go anywhere too far because I don't want to like waste time commuting. So I had to kind of stay in the central London area. But definitely when I go back, I do want to check out all parts of London. And I also want to go to different cities of England. I really think I prefer like the countryside or nature more than city. I don't know if it's because I grew up in New York, but seeing big cities, it's just like, it doesn't, 
excite me that much. And Joan was like, oh my gosh, you're so spoiled because you grew up in New York. Yes, the architecture is beautiful, the buildings are gorgeous, but then it's kind of like, hmm, yeah, it's nice, but I want to see nature nature and that's one thing about london that i love is that there were so many parks because in korea there aren't a lot of parks the moment of truth huh? the edges are a little burnt but it's fine i was kind of in a rush so i forgot to put like toppings oh it's not spongy this time well it's a little less spongy Oh, the bottom is very burnt. I think there's something wrong with the oven. Maybe it's not a real oven. I mean, it's a combination of microwave, oven, and air fryer. So maybe the... The oven feature is a little weak. Maybe it wasn't made properly. It's not bad. I think it's a little improved from last time. Mm. I want to take baking lessons. I think I need baking lessons very badly. five minutes away and she's late. She's always late. Hi. <laughs> 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 update you guys i feel like i haven't been really like talking to you guys you guys just see footages of me doing stuff but i feel like it wasn't very personal um for cleansing lotion i've been using the ordinaries squalene cleanser one thing i realized when i was in london was that i've become really bad at small talking I feel like small talk is a skill too, so if you don't use it for a while, you just kind of lose it. So it was the first time I went to an event, um, and this was like overseas event too, right? Where I didn't know anyone. In Korea, when I go to events, I always have someone I go with. I usually go with like Joan or Sue Beans. I'm using COSRX Good Morning Gel Cleanser. But I think it was really good for me to like step out of my comfort zone because you know I'm always with people I know. Overall, I think it was good chaguk for me, like stimulant, stimulate, stimulation, stimulant, stimulus. Uh, because yeah, I, I realized I need to work on my small talk. I need to work on my people skills. And I just think with age, I've become more introverted. I recently took the MBTI exam again with Supini and Joan. They were helping me answer the questions in their perspective. And I got I, but I know I'm an extrovert. Like being around people gives me energy. Well, depending on who I'm with. Uh, but I just think with age, I'm just feeling more comfortable just being by myself. When I was younger, I always wanted to go out because when I was alone, I just 
felt lonely and I had to fill the void with something. But now I'm like, oh, this is peaceful. I really do enjoy staying home a lot these days. During weekdays, all I do is go to the gym in the morning and get ready for my radio show. Go to radio, come back. By the time I'm back, it's time for dinner. So I cook dinner. So I haven't been able to like find a lot of time to vlog. Because I want to vlog when the sun is out, right? In the daylight. Because it's just, it's prettier and it's brighter. When I get home at night, it's dark. Should I stop vlogging? Like, should I actually start making like filming content? Yeah, so I've just been thinking a lot about my channel and what to do. It's August. It's blazing hot in Korea. It's like 94 degrees today. And in the summertime, I love eating yeolmukguksu. It's a type of cold noodle. You have to put in these Korean leafy radishes. It's like one of my favorite summer meals. And I have the best yeolmu kimchi right now, thanks to my partner's aunt. So I'm gonna use that to try to make yeolmukguksu for the first time ever. Let's do this. Next, we're gonna boil some noodles. I have my naengmyeon yuk soup. Yeah. Hot summer morning into middle of the day. It was a hot summer morning into middle of the day. Don't feel like working, don't care what was man say. A lot. Rain it. Hi guys, so I wanted to update you on my tattoo removal process. I went for my third session yesterday and it just seems to be getting more painful with each session. Maybe they raised the intensity of the laser because the first time they made me come back after four weeks but after the second time they said to come back after six weeks and this time again in six weeks or they said even two months is fine. After the second time I noticed a drastic difference in how blurry and light they got. I have Hello Kitty band-aids on them right now. Still very red. This is the right side. Uh, once the redness goes down, I feel like it'll be even lighter. The bluish ink is gonna slowly turn brown. And then the doctor said uh, lasering the brown ink isn't as painful, thankfully. It's Chuseok soon here in Korea. Korean Thanksgiving is next week. So I've been getting a lot of packages, gifts from brands. I just got this one from Glowney. Whoa, this is heavy. Ah! Wow! Oh my god. This is so cute. It's a house. <gasps> so cute. Okay, how do you open it? Ooh! Wow! It's a hoodie and shorts, skirt, bustier. Bustier tank top. What's in this one? Keychain. Oh, it's like the key for this house. This is the hoodie. And this is the bustier with bloomer shorts. Thank you, Glowny. And this next one is from La Mer. Packaged like a chula gift. Ooh, body cream. Mmm, 
that's thick. It's perfect for winter time. Oh, thank you, Amanda. Okay, time to clean this up.